we welcome you to another presentation of the Methodist Connection. Half an hour of hymns and songs and the stories behind them. Thanks so much for your interest and support. And thanks for joining us. Let us pray. We give thanks, O Lord, for the hope we have in Jesus, who died but is risen and rules over all. Because he lives, we look for eternal life, knowing that nothing past, present, or yet to come can separate us from your great love made known in Jesus Christ our Lord. Bless our presentation today. Amen. We begin with the first hymn, To God Be the Glory. It is number 183 in the Methodist hymn book, Voices in Praise. This hymn was written by Blind Fanny J. Crosby. This hymn first appeared in a Sunday school selection, Brightest and Best, which was compiled by William Doan and Robert Lowry in 1875. Please join in the singing of this hymn, To God Be the Glory, numbered 183 in the Methodist hymn book, Voices in Praise.
we continue with this. This hymn, Victory in Jesus, was written by E. M. Bartlett in 1939. Bartlett was inspired to write this hymn after experiencing a personal victory over his addiction. This hymn has since become a popular hymn of praise and worship. The lyrics of Victory in Jesus express the joy and gratitude of a believer who has found victory over sin and temptation through faith in Jesus Christ. This hymn has been a source of encouragement and inspiration to many Christians over the years. Please join in the singing of this hymn, Victory in Jesus. Victory. next hymn is we sing the praises of him who died it is numbered 98 in the methodist hymn book voices in praise this hymn we sing the praises of him who died was written by thomas kelly in 1806 it is a hymn of praise to jesus christ and it is often sung at easter services it is a popular hymn in many christian denominations including the lutherans Methodist and Presbyterian churches, and it is often used as a processional hymn. We sing the praise of him who died, of him who died upon the cross. The sinner's hope let men deride, for this we count the world but loss. Please join in the singing of this hymn. We sing the praise of him who died, numbered 98 
in the Methodist hymn book, Voices in Praise. next hymn, Blessed Redeemer, as we continue with this hymn. Praise him, praise him, Jesus our Blessed Redeemer, numbered 55 in Voices in Praise hymn book. Praise him, praise him is another most popular hymn, and this was written by Fanny Crosby in 1869, who was born in Putnam County, New York, March 24, 1820. Crosby was stricken with blindness at the age of six weeks from damage of her eyes during a time of illness when she was only eight years old. She moved with her parents to Ridgefield, Connecticut and lived there for four years. At the age of 15, she enrolled in the New York Institution for the Blind where she was educated. Fanny became a teacher at the school in 1847 and resumed her work until March 1858. She taught English, grammar, rhetoric, and American history. Friends, this hymn truly celebrates Jesus as our blessed Redeemer and praises his amazing gifts of salvation and redemption. Please join us in the singing of this hymn, Praise Him, Praise Him, numbered 55 in the Voices in Praise, Methodist Hymn Book. Praise Him, praise Him, Jesus, our blessed Redeemer, sing all of this wonderful love
our next hymn is Low in the Grave He Lay, numbered 127 in the Methodist Hymn Book Voices in Praise. The hymn Low in the Grave He Lay was written by Robert Lowry in 1864. It is based on the biblical account of Jesus' resurrection from the dead. The hymn has been translated into many languages and is sung in churches across the world. Originally, there were four verses and a chorus. The verses describe Jesus' death and burial, while the chorus celebrates his resurrection. This hymn is written in a simple yet powerful style that makes it easy to sing and remember. It is one of the most popular hymns used. And this hymn reminds Christians of Christ's victory over death and his resurrection from the grave. Death cannot keep his prey. Jesus, my Savior, he tore the bars away. Jesus, my Lord, up from the grave he arose with a mighty triumph o'er his foes. He arose a victor from the dark domain and he lives forever with his saints to reign. He arose, he arose, hallelujah, Christ arose. Please join in the singing of this most glorious hymn of adoration, numbered 127 in the Voices in Praise.
We conclude today's program with the final hymn, Christ the Lord is Risen Today. It is number 116 in the Methodist hymn book, Voices in Praise. Christ the Lord is Risen Today has been one of the church's most popular Easter hymns since it was written by Charles Wesley just one year after his heartwarming experience at the Aldersgate Hall in London, England in 1738. This hymn was used in the first service in the deserted Anne Foundry, which became known as the Foundry Meeting House. Christ the Lord is risen today. Alleluia. Please join us in singing this glorious hymn, well-known hymn, numbered 116 in the Voices in Praise. Methodist hymnal. Thank you so much for joining me on the Methodist Connection. I am Christine gooden inviting you to join us next week at the same time on this same station for the Methodist Connection. We dedicate today's beautiful resurrection hymns, particularly to those who are challenged and to those who mourn the loss of loved ones, and to those whose loved ones are not well. May the resurrection message bring you hope. Please send your comments or suggestions for hymns you would like the choirs to sing at Jamaica Methodist Link, 143 Constant Spring Road, Kingston 8, 
or you may use the email address main office at jamaicamethodist.org or you may whatsapp us with your messages or calls 876-445-5713 or 876-925-6768. Do continue to support us by joining us each week in viewing these programs and experience God's blessing through song. We invite you too to make your love gifts for the upkeep of this ministry. Please make all your checks payable to the Jamaica Methodist link or use one of the contacts that will appear on your screen to arrange for electronic transfer deposits. Do have a very good resurrection Lord's Day and may the Christ of the resurrection be with you now and always. Amen. Mm -hmm.